which nesting material should you choose? Reeds, bituban inserts, or wood trays? Well, let's look at it from the bee's perspective. As a bee flies into a bee house, they're looking for their exact hole right away, something unique. And with reeds, the ends of every reed is unique, and so this is their preferred nesting material. When you're looking at bee tube and inserts, if they're kind of stored in your house, kind of wild looking, put some sticks between them, not too uniform, easier for the bees to use. The wood trays by themselves, all the holes are uniform. We have burnished the fronts to kind of pop, make the wood pop. We've got a new product called the Wayfinder that makes it a little easier. Um, the bees will use this just fine, it's just not their preferred. From the human's perspective, you're able to use this year after year. You're able to get um, access to your valuable cocoons in the fall. With the bee tube and inserts, you've got the bee tube on the outside that you're just keeping and reusing. It's just the inserts that you're replacing every year. When you drop this into warm water, within 10 minutes, the glue is dissolved. Your waterproof cocoons float to the top, uh, super easy to harvest from. And with your reeds, eh, they're easy as well. When you're just um, trying to get access to them, you're pinching the ends and getting right to the cocoons on the inside. So um, lastly, from a pest perspective, how easy are these to get to your valuable bees? Well, all of our nesting materials, the, um, they're thick enough, they've all got ends on the back, and um, they're perfect for them you know, to not be able to get access to. A word of caution, if you're um, only using inserts or just the bee tube themselves, parasitic wasps can get through quite easily. So make sure that you're always trying to use them both together. It's quite simple, the choice is yours.